السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله. I've been asked to do one of two things: either to translate all of the verses in a period of five minutes, or to choose one of the verses to comment upon. And I think that is more appropriate to comment on one of those verses. Uh, and that particular verse that I choose is the one where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, while referring to the Prophet Munira. O Prophet, verily we have sent you as a witness as a giver of good news, as a warner, and one calling to Allah by his permission, and a shining lamp. In this particular verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights the most prominent of the characteristics of the Prophet uh, that Muslims themselves have an obligation to emulate in in him, emulate him in those particular areas. They said, O oh, Prophet, verily you are a witness. Verily you are, are a witness. And one thing about a witness is that you are only a, a person who is fit to witness and to be taken seriously as a witness when you have the right characteristics. That when you are credible, when you are an individual who has impeccable character. When you are one who is known not to commit major sin, when you are one who is, even if you commit a minor sin, is not something that you uh, persist upon. And this is actually what we find in our tradition with regard to the conditions for the acceptance of narratives and the change of narration, uh, and even with regard to testimony in courts. That this is what the ulama is spoke about that the Prophet himself is a witness, and he's a witness not over humanity, but a witness over us. As the Quran tells us, And thus we made you into a moderate or a justly balanced nation, so that you would be witnesses over humanity, and that the messenger will be a witness over you. So what type of witnesses will we be? What type of witnesses are we against one another or for one another? Uh, because often in our community, it seems that we have fallen short of the prophetic standard. That often we want to be judged uh, justly and fairly by the non-Muslim public, but we are unfair to one another in the way that we judge one another. That we often terrorize one another with our ideologies and other things upon, in that particular fashion. So verily, O Prophet, O Prophet, we made you as a witness. Shahidan wa mubashira wa nadira. And one giving good news. What type of good news are we giving to the people? Alhamdulillah that Muslims are involved with much type of work in Islamic propagation. But we also need to give good news to one another. We also need to be merciful to one another. That while we remind our Muslims of the beauty of Islam, we have to rewind ourselves as well of the beauty of Islam. The Messenger of Allah was the type of person who, though he had very high standards for people in society, he was also one who, who gave people just enough hope, just enough hope so they would know that even if they fall short, there is a chance for them to do better and to gain Allah's pleasure. One Azira, and he also was a warner. He was a warner that we ourselves should not forget that part of the message as well. The Prophet ﷺ came with good news and also a warning to people. And we should reflect that in our propagation. And when calling to Allah by His permission, calling to Allah by His permission and a shining lamp. One who lights the way for others. One who lights the way for others. And I'll stop with this final example from taking from the uh, uh, Shifa of Imam Al-Qadhi Iyad when he mentions this story about a Bedouin and those who are here for the khutbah know I have a lot of stories about Bedouins and this particular Bedouin came to the Prophet 
and he asked him for uh, some sadaqa. And the Prophet gave him something. And then he said to him, have I done well to you? And then the Bedouin responded in the presence of the Sahaba. He said, La, wa ma azmanta, that you haven't done good to me, nor have you shown me any courtesy. And of course, the Sahaba reacted, they jumped, and they were ready to kill this man. And the Prophet said, wait, wait, wait. And the Prophet gave him more. And days went by, and the Prophet, وسلم, every time the man came to him, he gave him more. And he gave him more. And then the man, he asked the man once again, Had ahsan tu ilayk? He said, have I done good to you? Have I treated you well? And he said, now, yes, you have. And then the Prophet said to him, that's great to hear now, but you said something in the presence of my Sahaba, and so they have something in their hearts that remains in their hearts of rancor towards you. So it would be good if we go and I ask you this question in their presence, and then uh, you say this. So the Bedouin agrees. And when the time came, he told him, uh, uh, he said to him, he asked him the question, have I done good to you? And the Bedouin said, yes, you have. And what a wonderful brother you are. And so, so then the man left after accepting Islam. And then the Prophet said to the Sahaba, he said that my, the similitude of me and this man is as the owner of a camel. The camel, it, it, it loses, it gets out, it loses away from his harness and it runs into the desert. All the people in the town, they start to chase the camel. But the more they chase the camel, the more it increases in flight. And then the owner of the camel it comes and it approaches that camel and he picks up something off of the ground that looks like food and the camel comes near to him. And then he gives it to him to eat to the, and then he takes it and he, uh, he harnesses it once again. He said, Wallahi, if I would have left you to what you were about to do, you would have killed that man, and if he would have died, he would have gone to, to, gone to hell. So this is the Prophet وسلم, being a shining lamp. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the characteristics of our Prophet, or sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam,